only the small tiddly bits of detail to go um, and obviously a little bit of, not exactly, well I suppose light weathering a little something to bring it to life a little well, there it is the lovely uh, stylish panther tank coming along nicely right last few bits then that means handles. I'm never particularly keen on handles. And there we are with the little bits and pieces on. They are the dark bits. Um, and I will dry brush them so that some dark remains uh, because these are the kind of things that capture muck and when it rains draw muck down. So I won't be going overboard. I will use, um, as I say, dry brushing probably, so that uh, it's a, a more sensitive layering and probably a slightly different tone which will add a little something. Now, 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 before the weathering, markings are on, uh, light weathering. Um, yeah, a little bit vague. Uh, you get the large numbers for the sides of the turret. You get three, but there's only positions for f two. And then you get tires, not tiny. You get smaller versions, and they seem to go on the back. And that's based on these meagre. Look at that, proportion-wise. Yep. Come on, let's just do that. Meagre diagrams uh, which is the main thing I would say was was not great here now I've got loads of books with all the information I could go and have a look but what I'm trying to do is do it as the battery went flat I've been doing so much well I was coming to the end of that anyway but I was saying very small instructions uh, but I want to stick to what the manufacturer says so this is the best I can do under the circumstances uh, but there we go that's alright no problem there lots of spare markings for another day there it is done thing is we've now moved into the realm of using the phone as a camera so it's a little bit um, well, a little bit jerky, I suppose, is one observation, and probably not quite as crisp and clear as one would like. But there we are, our little tank is complete, and we've got it on record in some form or another. Um, oops, I flipped the camera up sideways. Anyway, I've, I've experimented with different ways around. I'm convinced the sort of um, landscape format is the best but we've got quite a few portrait just in case um, I probably won't be going back that way too often anyway there it is done it is a very good model not brilliant by a long way um, it's basic simple straightforward and you've got the basic tank the interesting thing is if you want to get somebody interested in making models this is a good way to start them um, was it enjoyable absolutely no fuss, um, no fiddliness, you can really storm on. You're thinking, why did it take you so long then? All the grown-up stuff in life and all the technological issues that I've had recently. So apologies that this one really has lingered on. Anyway, um, yes, it's a good model and I'm pleased I got it and made it. It does suggest at some point I'm going to have to see what... Uh, other manufacturers have on this one but um, I think now at this point I want to branch out laterally and do some of the more um, uh, the, the sort of variant type tanks because this one really does throw up some uh, at least one masterpiece which is the Jagged Panther so hopefully that will be coming along in a while it's paralleled by a lot of the Russian um, 
experiments in a similar direction and uh, I'll be doing some of those too. So there'll be some side steps now, some lateral stuff, um, which I'm going to enjoy because I like that kind of thing. Uh, so um, something to look out for in the future. Uh, what a horrible day, by the way, as well. Look at that. That's absolutely abysmal. But this could be D-Day, couldn't it? And um, at this point, I'm trying to get this tank, or this, oh, there goes the bird scout. I'm trying to get this model to um, sort of uh, reflect upon its background to see how that uh, sandy dust colour looks against uh, a near ripe field of hay. So uh, there it is. It, you can see how the concept worked. Anyway, once again, thank you for watching and thank you for your patience. And hopefully I will be back shortly um, with all sorts of stuff. We are way behind on the things I've been up to, so various things to share. But anyway, there we go. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.